even though it might sound normal to you in your language or in your country, the phrase I want might sound a bit too demanding or rude in some other cultures. So in this lesson, we're going to look at different and better ways to say I want. So instead, we prefer to use better and more polite alternatives. When you request something, it's better to use I'd like. Imagine you're at Starbucks and ordering coffee. You could be saying something like, one second, I'd like a double caramel macchiato venti with skimmed milk, extra shot, extra hot, extra whip, sugar-free, please. Again, a better alternative to I want is can I? Can I have? Can I get? Or if you want to be more polite, you could say could I? Imagine you're at a restaurant and you want to pay. You could say, can I get the bill, please? Or can I have the bill, please? Could I have the bill, please? Could we get some water, please? Oi, mate, can I get some water, please? No, that's fine. Ta. Here in England, we say sorry for everything. Don't ask me why. I don't know why, but we do. So it's always a good idea to start with sorry or excuse me or sorry to bother you, but please could I get the bill? Okay, we talked about I'd like, but we have another expression that's quite similar to I'd like and that's I'd love. Imagine you're visiting a friend and he or she asks you if you would like to drink something. You could say, oh, I'd really love a cup of tea. Thanks. Now, the difference between I'd like and I'd love to me, and that might be different for other English speakers, is I'd like is something we use more at a restaurant. And I'd love has something more emotional, okay? Like your, your, your feelings are involved, okay? It's more friendly, more emotional than I'd like. So I would prefer to use I'd like at a restaurant and I'd love when I'm talking to a friend. Another good expression that you can use when you request something is I'll have. Imagine you're at a restaurant and the waiter or the waitress comes to you to take your order. You can say, I'll have a steak or I'll get the pie please or I'll have a pint of wine please. Say it again. <laughs> I'll have a pint of wine. If you went to a work meeting with your boss and your colleagues or you went to a posh, expensive restaurant and you want to sound more polite, you could say, may I? Please, may I have some water? May I get some water, please? You are at a restaurant or a coffee shop or Starbucks again and you're ordering coffee or somebody asks you what you want. You could say, oh, I'll go for... Hmm, I'll go for a black Americano, please. Or I'll go for a latte, please. Right, we're going for the extreme here. And if you want to be extra, extra, extra polite, you could say, is there any chance I could get um, some water? Or any chance I can get some water? This is really polite and it's indirect. Now, why do I think this is extreme? It's because you're at a restaurant, mate. Of course they have water, of course you can get it. Why so British? Because I want to talk about a desire, a need, but we don't say I desire. Instead, you can use something like I could do with. For example, it's a very tiring day at work and you really need to sleep, you really need a break. You can say, I really, I could really do with a nap right now. Another very useful expression you can use instead of I want is feel like. I feel like eating a kebab. I want to eat a kebab. Kebab. <laughs> you can also say I feel like a kebab, but feel like has another meaning, so you could be misunderstood. 
For example, you make a mistake, you make a bad mistake and you feel like an idiot. You say, oh, how did I make that mistake? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. I feel like an idiot. So if you say, I feel like a kebab, are you, are you a kebab, really? So it's better to say, I feel like doing something. So it's better to use a verb after feel like. I feel like going out. I feel like dancing. I feel like eating a pizza, okay? Or if you want to say you don't want to do something, you could say, oh, I don't feel like going out tonight. I'm going to stay at home. A very common expression we use here in the UK is fancy. The problem is it has two different meanings. If you say I fancy you or I fancy him or I fancy someone, it means you like them a lot. You could say, do you fancy a drink after work? Or do you fancy going out tonight? I'm in the mood for dancing. <laughs> I feel like dancing. Come on and hold me tight. Thank you very much for this amazing performance, everyone. I'm in the mood for watching a movie tonight. I'm in the mood for shopping. Or I'm not really in the mood for shopping. If you want to be more dramatic and add emotion to what you're saying, you can use these expressions here to talk about something you want. I'd kill for a holiday. Like you haven't had a holiday for a very long time or you're dying for a holiday. You're not literally killing anyone and you're not literally dying. But these expressions mean that you're desperate, that you really, really need something. Another very polite way of saying you want something is this. Imagine you're at a friend's house again and he or she asks you if you want to drink something. You can say, oh, I wouldn't mind a glass of water, please. Thank you. Wouldn't mind means it's okay. It's not a problem. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very, very much, much for watching. watching. <laughs> Bye. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much for watching. And I, I hope, hope to see, see you in my, in my next, next video. Next video. Celebration time, come on, na 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 na